Welcome to JSA TV, where we are covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from thought leaders in the digital, I, I've been saying digital transformation. I also want to say digital infrastructure industry. And we are coming to you live from Data Cloud USA in the Lone Star State of Austin, Texas. And I am here with my new friend and thought leader in the space, Mr. Scott Despot. Scott is the Director of Business Development and Sales at Spencer Building Carrier Hotel. Scott, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much. And I know that you are not you are not a, a newbie to JSA TV. We've interviewed you a couple of uh, different times. Um, but so in that, uh, with that in mind, how is the Data Cloud event different than maybe past events where uh, where we've we've ran into you? Uh, it's definitely a different uh, different target, different market, different, yeah. different uh, attendees. Um, I don't want to rank. <laughs> good to, call. But, yeah, but uh, no, it, it's it's been good. It's my first time at, at Data Cloud, and actually first time to Austin. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just good to uh, hear the conversation and, and listen to what uh, what the industry is talking about. Okay, we're gonna jump right in now. So we're, let's talk trends in the future of co-location. Yep. Um, what are you seeing? So specific to Vancouver, BC, where mm -hmm. where we are. Um, I think like a lot of places, there's not a lot of space and power. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for us, um, we're the landlord of the building. We're the carrier hotel in Vancouver and have been so for about 25 years. We're building out a new co-location space. Um, I, I think that there's, you know, there's there's strong demand anywhere. Um, yeah. I think Vancouver is no different. We're a tertiary market, but there's still that demand for space and power in our marketplace. And um, it's just a matter of addressing it. And like everyone, the time time is working against us. Everyone wants it now. Yeah. And they don't like to hear this, maybe 12, 18, 24 <laughs> plus months. Yeah. But it's, it's, that's the challenge. So are you, are, we, are you ready now in Vancouver? We have, so we've just built out, uh, early in the year, we've built out a new space in the Spencer building, mm -hmm. a new meet me room, a small co-location room. Um, we are currently building out uh, about 12,000 square feet of additional space, which over a couple of phases will get us about five megawatts of power. Mm -hmm. um, half of that will be coming online in the middle of next year. So we're not quite ready, but yeah. the timing is. I mean, things yeah, you're, you're right, right at the edge, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's exciting. It's, it's uh, you know, we talk about space and power and as the landlord, we've got the space. Yeah. And it's a matter of just getting the site prepared. Yeah, outstanding. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the Canadian market then, specifically yeah. with regard to privacy and kind of data uh, regulation and things like that. What are some of the benefits of that market to the kind of the future of uh, co-location? Yeah. Well, I think with, with Vancouver being where it is, you know, gateway to Asia. And, yeah, yeah. Um, we, we've had a number of companies come to us and they, they are very aware of data privacy and mm -hmm not just in where they store their data, but they want to know that the network, the way they're accessing that data is is secure, but also is within Canada. And so uh, we, it, it is an important feature. It is something that is very important, particularly to European and some Asian customers. For sure. Um, they want to make sure that, that is, uh, has, there's that data sovereignty and Canada mm -hmm. has a very strong yeah. um, um, history in making sure that, that, that those rules are in place. Mm -hmm. So uh, supply and demand. Yes. Uh, let's let's talk about that uh, just a little bit. Um, the demand for co-location services currently out a pacing supply. We touched yeah. on this just a little bit. That ain't going to go away, is no, it? No, no, <laughs> no. And, you know, it, it's, a, it's a struggle. I mean, it's an exciting. It's a good problem to have. Yeah, yeah. But it's also a frustrating problem. And, you know, at this at this conference, obviously a big discussion about AI and yes. just where that's going. And it's a huge impact on the market it's 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 uh, for a company like us is a it's a distraction almost because you get you know there's a shiny object in ai yeah and it's very appealing but you i think have to take a look at your business model and is it core to your business model yeah. is it is it a path you want to go down um we do have um interest from ai companies they want to buy all of our power and half the space <laughs> really and and that's it, it could be good, but it yeah. doesn't fit our core model. And yeah. So 
we have to find the balance. We sometimes forget because, and and we, it, the this show in particular has been very, very AI focused and kind of like future forward technologies. But all of the stuff that we have done, uh, that you all have done as data center operators and engineers, yeah. um, that ain't going away. No. Uh, in fact, in fact, that might be ramping up in concert with all of these kind of future forward technologies, AI, machine learning, and all this other stuff yeah. in concert. So you you guys kind of are are looking at the 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 larger picture and making sure that you are uh, meeting the the demands yeah. by for, uh, for the folks that you know uh, beyond just AI. Yeah, well, you know what? Again, it comes back to our business model. I mean, at the core of it, we're the carrier hotel, mm -hmm. and connectivity is what we want to make sure that we're we're forefront in Vancouver. So yeah. that's always going to be important to us. But you know, the whole AI model is going to pull everybody along. There's I think long sure. coattails, yeah. and what space and power they take up is just going to mean that there's less for others for enterprise and for for smaller yes you know regional regional players that's where we can come in that's where where we see that uh advantage for us yeah right downtown vancouver um lots of connectivity i was just going to say uniquely positioned yeah. right downtown vancouver yeah 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 excellent uh scott let's do this again in like six months you want to <laughs> I think we should. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. My pleasure. You bet. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV live from Data Cloud USA. Uh, stay connected, and we'll see you soon.